Hello and welcome to another video on Learn SQL. And in today's video, we are going to learn two joins, two type of joins, which is cross join and self join. Now we have learned inner join, outer join, and all those, but these are little bit different. And let understand what these joins are. Now, self join is just an extension of the joins, which is inner, left, right, or outer uh, join only. But uh, why we called it self join because in the case of self join the same table join with each itself so that's why it is called as self join in case of cross join actually there is no join so there is a no join column and that's why it is known as cross join so let's let's go to the uh, sql uh, uh, server management studio and i already started my sql server and open sql server management studio i went to my database and right clicked and open new query and i'm ready to go now how do cross join happen so if you remember last time we were writing down statement like select i dot select from sales s and we were used to say inner join item and i and then we used to say oh and then we were writing down let's say s dot qty comma i dot let's say name this is something we were writing down now and then we used to give on condition like you know i dot item underscore id equals to s dot item id so that's what our objective was that we get the things and then we used to do then we used to get 30,000 rows and the reason why I kept the entire one is the reason for that so now this is what what happens when you don't give a join and when you want to give a cross join so let me give you two example in the first example let me just simply write down these two tables by comma separation and I don't want to give a name and then I say s dot quantity i dot name and also look at below how many rows I have 30,000 rows I have now look this query is still running and it's going to take a lot of time because i have 55 item and 30,000 and this one so look how much rows i got 1.6 million rows i'm getting pay attention below where the rows are appearing on the bottom right hand side of the screen you see 1.65 million rows are there because there is no join now is the cross join required or helpful yes there would be cases where cross join would be helpful and we we have to do but ideally speaking cross join or what we also call cartesian product is not good thing to have let me write down here cross join and let me remove the comma and let me again run this query and let's see what does it give now so I, I'm saying now I'm explicitly calling it as a cross join. It's again running it. Let's see, does it give the same number of rows? So I'm getting it. Now what happens sometime this is required, like, you know, in our item table, if you remember, we have brands and we have category and not all brands and category are available. So if I say select distinct from item and I say brand comma category now there are 13 brands and five categories so i should have 65 combinations but there are only 36 combination now we need to learn few more operation where i will be able to tell you you know what are the missing one which are the missing one for that we need to learn intersection or you know minus operations also uh, but the interesting thing what we can do is we can at least generate using the cross join what are the distinct brand and category right now we have not told you about the subquery so what we what i'm going to do is create table and create table is going to work in oracle mysql and postgres here how we do select star from not select star from select distinct brand from item and what we say we say into brand and if you are other user then you will not have this you will have create table brand as select star from this one you will have and you will not have into you will not have this into there okay 
So let me comment that just keep for your reference. Let me say select distinct brand into brand. And then let me say same thing, select different category. Select distinct category into category from item. This is SQL server syntax. In the other one, you will have a different syntax. Now I have two table. I'm going to do a cross join. I'm going to create the combination. M will I be able to create 65 of that? Let's say select star from brand. Check that. I should have 13 brands only. We have done distinct. And select star from category. We should have five categories. So total 65 is the number that we want. So let me run a query, select star from brand cross join join. So cross join category, let's copy category from the above. Now I'm not saying what column need to be selected, what is selected. I'm simply saying just do the cross join. I know only there are two columns. They don't have even same names. So I'm pretty safe. Now if they don't have the same, if they have the same names, that's where aliasing is necessary. Because if let's say if I want to save this result into a new table, then I definitely don't want to have two columns having same names. So I'm going to tell you that. But before that, look at we are getting 65 rows. We got the combination. Now I'll tell you how to do aliasing and create a put into a new table. So I can say here I can give alias B brand C category or you can keep the complete name brand. That's not uh, something let and the our table names and column names are same. So brand B dot brand comma C dot category. And what you can do, you can right now I, I can simply say as brand, but for category, let me say as cat. Fine. So now I got a new table, no new uh, result, which where I have renamed them. And if I want a table, how are you going to do in all other databases? Create table, let's say brand underscore cat as, but that's not going to work in SQL server. So what are we going to say? We are going to say comment. We are going to say into We got a table with the 65 rows. Let's select from that table and check it out. Select star from brand cat. Fine. So now you know how the cross join works. We will come back to this example once we learn inner queries. Once we uh, in once we learn inner query, we will try to see that we don't have to create the separate table using the from clause inner query. We will be able to do and also when we learn the union intersection and minus operation will come back and try to find out what are the combinations which are missing. So uh, keep watching this series, those queries will also come. Now the next thing which we want to learn is the self join. Now self join as I said, is basically a join that of the table with itself. Now current tables are pretty big. Uh, we can join those like item I can join on right item ID item ID if I join then it not going to give any difference. I can join it to brand ID brand ID to give better combination. But there are use cases where you know self join is necessary. So let's look at one of such use cases. What I've done is I um, bring in this data. So what happens is in an organization uh, um, we have a employee table which is having employee ID manager ID and name. Now manager ID is nothing but employee ID. It's a foreign key reference in the same table. But the man employee ID should exist before it can be used as manager ID. So now the first employee cannot have a manager because there is no record happens. There is no record before it or there no one to be in the organization before him. So there's no one in the organization before him. So his manager ID is null. Now his name is let's say Amit. Now manager ID two, employee ID two, manager ID one, name is Sumit. Now who's his manager? One Amit because employee ID is one. Now Employee ID three again. Who's manager ID? Manager ID one. Who's manager ID one? Who's em em employee of the em who's employee ID is one? This employee ID one means Amit. Now three, four, manager ID is two. Name is Ajay. What is the manager name? Two. The employee ID is two is Sumit. So manager is Sumit. And so and the f employee ID five again. Manager is two, which is Sumit. So what happens is if I tell you that give me name. And the manager name, who are the manager? 
so there is no manager for amit uh, sumit is manager of sumit uh, sumit is ma uh, amit is manager of sumit and anil and sumit is manager of ajay and sumit because two employee id two means sumit employee id one means amit now amit doesn't have a manager i would like to have a manager name here fine so i want this result now to do that let's create quickly create the table and insert data into it so we say create table i'm not going to import that create table emp emp underscore id equals to integer mgr underscore id integer and name where care you can have 150 right now i'm taking 50 but you should take if you are giving longer name take a bigger one okay so create table table name employee id in manager id in name worker okay we have teach you that in the very first class okay now we have created a table we need to insert so how do we insert into a table insert into emp now i can give the column names or i can simply type the values one comma null comma single quotes amit okay fine we can do that and how did we do that multiple values i think by giving commas sql server let's see does it takes that hmm so two one sumit so let's quickly add the other two records also other three basically here copy paste copy paste copy paste three i could have made employee id as primary key that could have ensured that i don't insert the duplicates two and two amit sumit anil ajay vijay that are the names see i remember now let's see amit sumit anil ajay vijay fine let's insert that into the emp this is the same method i told you in the past so please check out the older video if you are not getting how i done this select star from employee now what i need here i need to join with this table with the self so manager id need to join with the employee id to get the manager name isn't it so i need to join this table with itself so that is why it is self join self join is table joining with itself so we need two aliases definitely select emp select from emp emp as e and then we can have inner join or left join or whatever we want let's say inner join works or not inner join emp as m manager where m dot c e dot manager id is manager id equals to managers dot emp id see when the when i say this is manager table then if i treat this employee id as manager id then i'll get the manager's name okay and we don't need where we can use on clause so if i don't give a if i simply give a comma here then i can use where otherwise i can use in the inner join i have to use on fine so what i wanted to select i want to select employee e name is employee name e dot name comma m dot also name manager's name so and i can call it as mgr underscore name so what i'm saying select name from the employee table which is employee select manager alias name as m name as manager name what is going to be joined employees manager id is equal to manager's manager id sorry manager's employee id so employees manager id equal to manager's employee id employees manager id equal to manager's employee id so what I get, Sumit is Amit, Sumit's manager is Amit, Anil's manager is Amit, Ajay's manager is Sumit, where is the first record gone? The reason you are not seeing the first record, because you are doing a inner join and inner join will not succeed on the null values. Because the value here is null and the inner join will fail because there is no value. There is no manager ID available here and because there is no manager ID available, the join will fail. 
now to make this join success we have to use left join so let me use left join instead of inner join so let me do one thing let me create one more query and in this query let me use the left join so once i use the left join you will see one additional record coming for amit but manager id is null why manager id is null because who's going to tell power bi that the manager id is same as employee id for that we need a function to handle so we have various name for these functions is null uh, nvl if null but i'm going to use one generic one c o a l e s c e call yes and this function should be available in most of the databases other than that you can have nvl in oracle is null if null there could be many variations and please check out their definition they could have a little bit different definition there so let me run this and i got amit's manager name is amit sumit's manager name is amit anil's manager name is amit ajay's manager name is sumit vijay's name manager name is sumit so now we have done a left join between two instances of a same table employee so it's a self left join in this case so self join we are doing same table is getting joined and we have a use case where this is going to be solved with this kind of joins only there would be many other things in the future which is going to come out where the same table you need to join with itself by having different different uh, queries which you need to come out with so now you know how to do that so go ahead and try these things out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you